Welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. First time tuning in, my name is Ronald Johnson. What I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. And the biggest thing in life is getting more positivity on a small micro moments of positivity so that way you can have more success, be happy, and live longer. So today's vlog or video vlogs, I'm talk about they kicked me out of the gym. Now, no, they didn't think about the gym yesterday, or no, I haven't done anything wrong. But I like to always talk about what I experienced in my life because the more I talk about my stories, the more I can empower you talk about your stories and share your journey and empower you beyond, above and beyond imagine. So about six years ago, uh, roughly about five and a half years ago, I trained at a gym called, at that time, Ghost Gym, and now a new name is called American Barbell. So those that knew me as a trainer know that I trained at American Barbell, and at the same time, I used to work out there at Ghost Gym. So same gym, just different names. So I had a kind of a, a falling out with some issues with people around the gym, and um, I started one day, just I had a trainer, and then one day I started working out on my own. Now, I'm creating a complex equivalent, so I don't know exactly the pieces match up, but I don't believe things happen for no reason. You know, it doesn't fall out the sky. So I was at the gym, and uh, next thing you know, I get, uh, I go to swipe in, check in, and he says, hey, Ron, you can't come in the gym. I'm like, what's going on? And they said, well, you gotta talk to the owner. I says, what's going on? He says, I didn't pay, I, did I not pay my bill, or did I not actually, you know, what's going on? They complain, what happened, right? Well, you gotta talk to the owner. And it had to be a Friday at 5 p.m. So I couldn't work out that damn frustrated. I had a long weekend. Try calling the owner again, 5 p.m. Can't get a hold of him. So I said to myself, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't want to get kicked out the gym because I was going to become a contractor at the gym training clients. So you don't want to screw up your reputation because you have to pay them to work there. If you get an argument with the owner, you do something you're not supposed to, they kick your butt out. So Monday morning, I take a beeline to where the owner's uh, home office is or headquarters is. That's not there. I had to be 8 a.m. in the morning. I, at that time, I started my full time career, so I didn't go to work. I went there first, then went to work. So I get a call about 2 p.m. So what really happened was, ironic thing. First of all, the owner was in the impression I was training people without paying my fees, which wasn't true. But more importantly, somebody, uh, a trainer that worked there as a contractor, wrote the owner a letter and said, and outlined my Instagram, outlined my uh, Facebook, outlined my website, and says, you know what, I'm promoting myself as a ghost gym trainer. So they got upset, so they complained on me. So the owner's like, hey, look, let's take that down. We'd like as a member, fine. So about two weeks straight, I was scared. I didn't want no one to talk to me. I didn't want to make eye contact. I was in and out. My workers were messed up because I wasn't focused. After two weeks went by, I said to myself, they're not going to get rid of me. And what I mean by that is that I saw this movie called Casino with Joe Pesci and uh, Robert De Niro. Joe Pesci gets kicked out of the casino and he has to meet Robert De Niro off the Vegas Strip at a local bar or restaurant and he says, Joe Pesci tells Robert De Niro that I'm gonna get rid of me. So what that means is that we inherently have more power than we think. So at that time, I said, not gonna get rid of me. So what I need to do to mitigate you know, being accused of training on the low was I signed up there as a contractor, paying my fees with zero clients, I meaning no revenue coming in. It's all coming out of my pocket for my full time job and what money I had saved. A year later, I quit my full time job to start training full time. See, it's funny how people try to do malicious things to get rid of you and how now at this point it backfired because what they did is that they set things in motion. And what challenged me was what I let, what got set in motion, I got kicked out the gym, I got lied upon or told a story that wasn't true, or I could step into that greatness. At that point, I stepped into my greatness and became a trainer there with no clients and for two years straight. So now they created competition out of nothing. So whoever it was, again, thank you for doing that to me because you realized I had more power than I thought and you said, my plan in motion to where I am today. So thank you so, so much, whoever did it. And God bless you if that's believe in God or source or universe, doesn't matter, but thank you so much. So the point of the video is when things happen to you, a positive will happen out of that outcome. A positive happened out of my outcome. A positive happened in my life. I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be with you today if I didn't have that experience. So if you're tired of who you are and where they are in life, you look in transition, I want you to go to my website, www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. Bing, hit the discovery call button. 
our being joint masterclass on elements of positivity. The more elements of positivity you get, the better happiness you have in your life because you can live better and longer.